Hi, I'm Maximus, and welcome to my gaming guide and tips. So my first tip for taming would be downloading the Dodo Dex app. It's available on Google Play and Apple. There is also a website and I'll leave the link in the description. Let's start with the basics of knockout taming. There are various ways of knocking creatures out. They are using your fists, using a club, using a slingshot, trank arrows using with a bow, a crossbow, which can work underwater as well, and a compound bow. You can use an electric prod. We also have the trank darts and the shock darts for the long net rifle. We also have the trank spear bolt using the harpoon launcher for underwater, or you can use the equinus or the unicorn variant to back kick. You can use the electrophosaurus bite. You can use the Beezer Buff Slick. You can use the Patches Headbutt. You can use the Palma Scorpius Sting. For passive taming, you need to put the required item into the last hotbar slot and press the action key. There's different type of traps for different type of dinos. They are the bowler, You'll need a ballista turret for the chain bowler. There's a bear trap. Just be wary that you can get yourself trapped in it. And there's the large bear trap. Some dinosaurs wake up before they are tamed. So to keep them asleep, you can either Trank them again, but this will reduce your taming effectiveness. Use narco berries, which are collected from bushes. Use narcotics, which are made from narco berries and spoiled meat. Or the most potent of them all, biotoxins, which are collected from jellyfish in the ocean. And now for some tips. Count to five. While you're in the middle of trying to knock out a dinosaur, try and count to five in between shots to avoid accidentally hitting it when it falls unconscious. Depending on the dinosaurs, some have headshot multipliers, meaning they'll take more damage on the head, therefore needing less tranks to knock them out. When the dinosaur is close to being knocked out, it will flee. So bear this in mind in surroundings, as most ground creatures cannot breathe underwater and will drown. Once you have knocked the creature unconscious, any hits will reduce its taming effectiveness. A cheap way of protecting it is to build wooden spikes around it. Some dinosaurs wake up really quickly and will need your constant attention. One way of spacing out the time between pumping it with narcotics is stacking. Wait for the torpidity level to reach really low, and then pump it full of its narcotics. Instead of watching it drain, you'll watch it pump up, and then back down. Starve Taming With your dinosaur unconscious, if you let the food bar drop quite low, but not to zero, feed it with the preferred food, and watch it chomp away and then insta-tame. This is good if your attention is required elsewhere, and it hasn't accidentally got hit during the process, therefore not wasting any of your kibble. Getting out of render has two benefits. If you have an unconscious dinosaur, by getting out of render, nothing will attack it, which is very handy on single player, but be aware if you're on a server, other players can bring it into render. If you've accidentally aggroed a dinosaur you need to tame passively, simply getting out of render will de-aggro the dinosaur. Rare flowers, if consumed, or aggro every dinosaur within range, including passives, which is very handy if you want to lure them into traps. But just be aware of what dinosaurs are actually around you, and now how to tame them all. Achatina, located in the redwoods and swamps, it's a knockout tame. Can be trapped by these, can be taken by these flyers, 
and can be grabbed by these non-flyers. We'll only eat vegetable sweet cakes. Allosaurus. Located mainly in the mountains and the redwood forests. It's a knockout tame. Can be trapped by these. Can be taken by these flyers. And can be grabbed by these non flyers. Superior kibble is his preferred food. Angler fish. Located in the deep parts of the ocean. It's a knockout tame. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. And regular kibble is his preferred food. Ankylosaurus. Located mainly in the mountains and the redwood forests. It's a knockout tame. Can be trapped by these. Can be taken by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. And regular kibble is his preferred food. Aranio. Located in selected caves, is a passive team. You need to put on a full ghillie suit and spray yourself in bug spray before you even attempt to approach. Can be trapped by these. Can be taken by these flyers. And can be grabbed by these non-flyers. Spoiled meat is its preferred food. Arpeotrix, located in the redwood forest. It's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be taken by these flyers. And can be grabbed by these non-flyers. Simple kibble is its preferred food. Argentavis. Located mainly in the mountains and the redwood forests. It's a knockout tame. Can be trapped by these. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Superior kibble is his preferred food. Arthropleur. Located in the caves. It's a passive tame. Get that ghillie suit and bug repellent rocking. Can be taken by these flyers. And can be grabbed by these non flyers. Broth of alignment is his preferred food. Baryonyx. Located in the rivers. It's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be taken by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Regular kibble is its preferred food. Basilosaurus. Located in most parts of the ocean. Is a passive team. However, there's a few bits you need to do first and be aware of. Basilosaurus have mantas surrounded it. You're going to need to kill them all. Once this is done, you can freely passive tame. However, every time it feeds, it gives off an ink, which attracts nearby creatures to attack you. So be aware of your surroundings. Exceptional kibble is its preferred food. Bezo buffo. Located in the swamp. It's a knockout tame. Can be trapped by these. Can be taken by these flyers and can be grabbed by these non flyers. Regular kibble is its preferred food. Brontosaurus. Primarily located around the beaches. It's a knockout tank. Exceptional kibble is its preferred food. Carbonemus. 
located around the coastal waters and rivers. It's a knockout tame. Can be trapped by these. Can be taken by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non-flyer. Regular kibble is its preferred food. Kakra Dantrasaurus. Located at the top of mountains. It's a passive tame with a difference. First you need to carry dinosaur corpses towards it and watch for its sniff mechanic. And then release and run back. After it's eaten the corpse, a trust progress meter will appear. Once the trust meter is full, you need to ride it and a taming bar appears. Kill creatures while riding to fill up his taming bar. It can be trapped by these. Carnotosaurus. Located all over the map. It's a knockout tame. Can be trapped by these. Can be taken by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non-flyer. Regular kibble is its preferred food. Castoroids. Located in certain parts of rivers. It's a knockout tame. Can be trapped by these. Can be taken by these flyers. And can be grabbed by these non-flyers. Superior kibble is its preferred food. Calicophyrium. Located all over the map, but primarily in the snow biome. It's a passive team, but make sure you're wearing that ghillie. Can be trapped by these. Can be taken by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non-flyer. And beer is his preferred food. Compi. Located around all the coastlines and the rivers. It's a knockout tame. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non-flyers. Raw mutton is its preferred food. Deodon. Located in the snow biome. It's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Superior kibble is its preferred food. Dilophosaurus. Located all over the coast and the rivers. It's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Basic kibble is his preferred food. Demetrodon. Located in the swamps. Is a knockout tame. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. A regular kibble is his preferred food. Dimorphodon can be located anywhere on land apart from the snow biome. It's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Raw mutton is his preferred food. Diplocaulus. Located in the swamp, it's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Simple kibble is its preferred food. Diplodocus. Can be located anywhere on land apart from the snow biome. Can be a knockout or a passive team. Can be trapped by these. 
can be picked up by this fly, can be grabbed by this non-fly. Regular kibble is his preferred food. Dire Bear, located in the Redwood Forest, is a knockout town, can be trapped by these, can be picked up by these flyers, can be grabbed by this non-flyer. Superior Kibble is his preferred food. Dire Wolf, located in the snow biome, it's a knockout town. Can be trapped by these, can be carried by these flyers, can be grabbed by these non flyers. Superior kibble is its preferred food. Dodo, located around the coastal areas and rivers, it's a knockout town. Can be trapped by these, can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed these non flyers. Basic kibble is its preferred food. Dodicorous. Located in the mountain ranges, it's a knockout town. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Regular kibble is its preferred food. Dung Beetle, located inside the caves, is a passive tank, can be trapped by these, can be picked up by these flyers, can be grabbed by these non flyers. Large animal feces is his preferred food. Donkey Oslius, located in the deep parts of the ocean. Is a knockout thing. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Superior kibble is his preferred food. Electrophosaurus, located in the depths of the ocean, is a passive thing. However, it is aggressive and its electrical charge can disable you and most tames. It needs to have fired its electric charge. And whilst it's recharging, you can then passive feed it. I highly recommend using a Basilosaurus as it's immune to its shock charge. It can be grabbed by this non flyer. Biotoxin is its preferred food. Equus, located primarily on hills, it is a passive tank. I recommend wearing ghillie and crouch before you approach. After the first feeding, you must mount it immediately and tap the action button each time it's prompt to feed it again. It can be trapped by these. It can be picked up by these flyers. It can be grabbed by these non-flyers. Simple kibble is his preferred food. Gallimimus, located primarily around the redwoods. It's a knockout town. Can be trapped by these. Can only be picked up by this flyer. Can only be grabbed by this non flyer. Simple kibble is its preferred food. Giant bee, located primarily around the redwoods, it is a passive town. Although I'm not actually needed, I recommend using the ghillie suit and bug repellent. And if you're doing this on foot, you'll need a grapple hook. But I suggest using teams or long range weapons. So you'll need to have to destroy the queen bee's nest. Once the nest is destroyed, the bee will drop to the ground. The queen bee will casually fly away at ground level. And will be spewing out drones to attack you. If you're not careful, these guys can hurt you. So as clear as many as you can, if need be, and simply approach the queen bee for the passive team. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Simple kibble is his preferred food. 
Geganosaurus, located at the peaks of the mountains. It's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by this. Exceptional kibble is its preferred food. Giga and Topopithecus, located in the Redwood Forest, is a passive tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Regular kibble is its preferred food. Hesperonus, located in the rivers, is a passive tank. You must kill a fish and drag the fish's corpse to the Hesperonus. The fish's size plays a major factor how many fish will be required. The level of fish does not appear to impact the taming. The saber tooth salmon is by far the most effective fish. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Hyenodon. Located around the mountains, it is a passive tank. Usually found in packs, you'll need to eliminate the rest of the pack before you can try and tame. Can be trapped by these, can be picked up by these flyers, can be grabbed by these non flyers, and you pet it instead of feeding it food. The Ichthyonaurus. Located on the beaches, it's a knockout tank, can be trapped by these, can be grabbed by these non-flyers, regular kibbles is preferred food. The Ichthyosaurus, located in the coastal waters, is a passive tank, can be grabbed by these non-flyers, Simple kibble is this regular food. Iguanodon. Located pretty much anywhere on land apart from the snow biome and the top of mountains. It's a knockout ting. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Simple kibble is his preferred food. Kairaku, located on the icebergs and the snowbound coast. It's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be grabbed by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Basic kibble is his preferred food. Caprasuchus, located in the swamp. It's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be grabbed by this flyer. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Regular kibble is his preferred food. Kentrosaurus. Located on the mountains, it's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Regular kibble is his preferred food. Liprodon. Located in the depths of the ocean, is a passive team. Approach it unmounted. If you approach mounted to a dinosaur, it will get aggressive and attack, and if you attack back, it will just disappear. Will only eat giant bee honey. Lytrosaurus. Located around the coasts and the rivers. It's a passive tank. Can be trapped by these. And be carried by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Rare flowers is his preferred food. Mammoth. Located in the snow biome. It is a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Superior kibble is its preferred food. 
manta located all around the ocean is a passive tank. Make sure you've consumed bug propellant before you approach. Can be grabbed by non flyers or only eat angler gel. Megalania located on the ceilings of caves. It's a knockout tank. Be aware its bite can give you mega rabies. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Extraordinary kibble is its preferred food. Megalosaurus. Located in the redwood forest and the snow biome. It is a knockout town. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Simple kibble is its preferred food. Megalodon. Located all around the ocean. It's a knockout town. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Superior kibble is his preferred food. Megalosaurus. Located in the caves. It's a knockout team. The Megalosaurus will wake up at the start of each night. It will need to be knocked down multiple times, so I recommend star taming. Can be trapped by these. Can be grabbed with this non flyer. Superior kibble is its preferred food. Megatherium. Located in the redwood forest and the snow biome. It's a knockout town. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up with these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Superior kibble is its preferred food. Mesopithecus. Located almost everywhere on land, apart from the snow biome. It's a passive team. I recommend wearing ghillie and crouch when you approach. Can be trapped by these. Can be grabbed by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Basic kibble is his preferred food. Microraptor. Located in the redwood forests and the rivers. It's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Rare flowers is his preferred food. Mosasaur. Located at the depths of the ocean. It's a knockout team. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Exceptional kibble is his preferred food. Moss chops. Located pretty much anywhere on land, apart from the snow biome and the top of the mountains. It's a passive team. The moss chops will randomly request any of the following food items. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by any of these non flyers. Onic. Located in the caves. It is a passive taming. You need to apply bug repellent and crouch before you approach it. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Raw mutton is his preferred food. Otter. Located in the rivers. It is a passive team. To tame an otter, kill some fish, approach the otter, and then use the action button to feed it. The level of the fish does not affect the team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Saber tooth salmon, 1.5 size or above, is its preferred food. 
oviraptor. Located around the coasts and the rivers. It's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flowers. Can be grabbed by these non flowers. Giga eggs are its preferred food. Ovis. Found primarily in the snow biome. It's a passive ting. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flowers. Can be grabbed with these non flowers. But only eat sweet vegetable cakes. Patchy. Located pretty much everyone land apart from the snow biome. It's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up with these flowers. Can be grabbed with these non flowers. Simple kibble is his preferred food. Patchy Rhino Source. Located primarily down some rivers. It's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flowers. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Bug propellant is its preferred food. Paraceratherium. Located around the redwood forests and the swamp. It's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by this flyer. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Superior kibble is its preferred food. Parasaur. Located pretty much anywhere on land apart from the snow biome. It's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Basic kibble is its preferred food. Pego Mastrix. Located all around the coast and the redwood forests. It's a passive team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Major berry is its preferred food. Pelagonorse. Located all around the coast. It's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Regular kibble is its preferred food. Bomia. Located all around the map on land, apart from the snow biome. It's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Basic kibble is its preferred food. Plesiosaur. Located in the depths of the oceans. It's a knockout team. Can be grabbed by this non fly. Superior kibble is its preferred food. Procoptodon. Located mostly at the base of mountains. It's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by this flyer. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Rare mushrooms is its preferred food. Tranodon. Located all around the coasts and rivers. It's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Regular kibble is its preferred food. Polymus scorpius. Located primarily on the mountains. It's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. A regular kibble is its preferred food. 
Perlovia, located in the snow biome. It's a knockout thing. Hidden underground, if aggravated, it will jump out and stun you, so caution is advised. Can be trapped by these, can be picked up by these flies, can be grabbed by this non-fly. Regular kibble is his preferred food. Quetzal, located in the skies. It's a knockout tame. Since the Quetzal never lands, it can be difficult to tame solo. Here's the most common method to do it. First thing to make sure you have a crossbow and grapple hooks. For safety reasons, make sure you have a parachute. You'll need an Argentavis and the tranking equipment of your choice. So you spot the Quetzal you want, unmount the Argentavis and fire a grapple hook into it. Now deploy the parachute and switch to your tranking equipment. Whistle the Argentavis to move positions or attack my target onto the Quetzal, but remember the hit passive when you get too close. Can be trapped by these. Exceptional kibble is his preferred food. Raptor. Located ever on land apart from the snow biome. It's a knockout thing. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Simple kibble is his preferred food. Rex. Located primarily around the mountains. It's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be taken by this flyer. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Exceptional kibble is its preferred food. Rhino Natha. Located in the swamp. It's an impregnation tank. Firstly, you're going to need to kill a male and collect his pheromone. Then transfer it to a large dinosaur with high health and force feed it. You'll then need to find a female and reduce its health to under 10%. Use a magnifying glass or the tech binoculars to keep an eye on its health. Then should impregnate your large dino and fly away. Your impregnated dino will have a timer for cravings. To feed its desired craving, walk up to it. Open the menu wheel and select it. The craving item only has to be in your inventory. When it's ready to be born, it will burst out of your dino, killing it in the process. And now it's a baby ready to be raised. Sabretooth. Located in the snow biome and the mountains. It's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Regular kibble is preferred food. Sarko. Located primarily in the swamps. It's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be taken by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Regular kibble is its preferred food. Spino, located in the rivers, it's a knockout team, can be trapped by these, can be picked up by this flyer, can be grabbed by this non-flyer, exceptional kibble is its preferred food. Stegosaurus, located everywhere on land apart from the snow biome. It's a knockout tame. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. A regular kibble is his preferred food. Tapajara. Located everywhere on land apart from the snow biome. It's a knockout tame. Given its skittish nature, I recommend wearing a ghillie suit. 
can be trapped by these. Can be grabbed by this flow. Can be grabbed by this non flow. Superior kibble is its preferred food. Terror Bird. Located primarily in the Redwood Forest. It's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Regular kibble is its preferred food. Theracinus source. Located everywhere on land, apart from the snow biome. It's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Exceptional kibble is its preferred food. Thylacolio. Located on the redwood forest trees. It's a knockout team. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Approach with caution with a flyer, as a flyer could grab you or your team. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Extraordinary kibble is its preferred food. Titan Boa. Located in the swamps, it is a passive team. It must not be aggroed onto anything. The eggs must be fertilized. You have to drop an egg near it in order to consume it. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. A fertilized giga egg is its preferred food. Titanosaur. Located in the valleys and rivers. It's a knockout tank. Can it be knocked out with a turret or a cannon? You must target its head. Once unconscious, place the Titanosaur saddle in its infantry and it will instantly tame. Triceratops. Located everywhere on the land apart from the snow biome, it's a knockout tame. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Simple kibble is its preferred food. Trudon. Located everywhere apart from the snow biome and the top of mountains. It's a passive team. You have to allow the Trudon to kill your teams. Trudons gain Tame Affinity by earning combat experience, with the amount required reduced at 40% at night. Creatures must not be set to passive and must be unmounted by a player. Creatures can be unconscious or pre-damaged. Babies and adults provide the same amount of experience. I recommend building a pen and placing the baby or an unconscious dino in it and place the Trudon in. Sometimes it can get bugged out. Enter the pen with a shield, let the children attack you, and it will hit the dino at the same time, if done right. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by these non flyers. Gigas provide the best amount of XP. Two Satuthis. Located in the depths of the ocean, it's a passive town. Approach the Tuso while mounted and allow it to grab your creature. Dismount, then approach the Tuso's beak to feed. I recommend your dino should have high health and good armor on its saddle. You can stack the food for Tuzos. 50 black pearls is its preferred food. Unicorn. Located anywhere on land apart from the snow biome and the redwood forest is a passive tank. I recommend wearing ghillie and crouch before you approach. After the first feeding, you must mount it immediately. 
and tap the action button each time it's prompt to feed it again. It can be trapped by these. It can be picked up by these flyers. It can be grabbed by these non-flyers. Simple kibble is his preferred food. Willy Rhino. Located in the snow biome. It's a knockout tank. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by these flyers. Can be grabbed by this non-flyer. Superior kibble is his preferred food. Eutyrannus. Located in the snow biome. It's a knockout team. Usually found with a gang of Carnos. So you're either going to have to separate them or kill off the Carnos. Be aware the UT has a roar that can scare your dinosaurs as well. Can be trapped by these. Can be picked up by this flyer. Can be grabbed by this non flyer. Extraordinary kibble is his preferred food. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please hit that like button. If you want more from me, hit that subscribe button. If you want to stalk me, hit the notification. Cheers and gone.